actually split the atom because it's typically attributed to Ernest Rutherford, but it was actually two of his students. John Cockcroft and Ernest Walton were working under Rutherford at the Cavendish lab at Cambridge using a high voltage accelerator, and that's how they split the atom. In the late 1910s, Rutherford ran an experiment wherein he bombarded nitrogen gas with alpha particles. Alpha particles are basically just helium nuclei. They're two protons and two neutrons. He measured the result of this bombardment on a scintillation screen. The scintillation screen shows a little brightness, sometimes called a kick, as an alpha particle hits it. So he was able to measure what was going on as a reaction in that gas by what he saw on the scintillation screen. What he saw were some really bright flashes, which were the alpha particles, and some not so bright flashes which he determined were being knocked out of the gas. He found protons this way. So he didn't split the atom, but he did start chipping away at it and breaking it down. In 1932, under Rutherford, John Cockcroft and Ernst Walton at Cavendish set up an experiment that looked a little bit like this. They were accelerating protons and shooting them at a lithium target. The result was also on a scintillation screen, and when they turned it on, it didn't just glow, it lit up. There were so many reactions. What they found is lithium plus hydrogen yields two helium. Rutherford was in the lab that night, just as amazed as the rest of the team at what they'd done. That's it, just a little atomic anecdote as I research and write my new book.